Now, this is for individuals that's chasing money. You working yourself to death. You're a person that have five jobs and have no time for God. What do you have? You have five jobs and no time for God. The Bible says the less is less. The Bible says God will perform. God will provide all I need according to his riches and blessing. So this message is what happened to those who chasing cash or money? A lot of people don't know what cash is. It's money. They go to God. Yeah, what happened? Number, number one, they are lover of evil. Look at the people that love money. The Bible says when you love money, is the root of all evil. Number two, they love entertainment. Number three, they love explicit. You know what explicit is. Number four, they love the economy that lead in the way, but don't lead to heaven, but to hell. Five, they love expressing ungodly deed, unrest, especially at nighttime. Number six, they, they read ecclesiastic, eat, drink, and be merry. But it's more to that verse. I'm talking about what happened when you chase money, when you're a money lover. Hey, glory to God. I'm trying to help somebody out there, my friend. This channel is designed to help Christian or ungodly people to see God. So if you are a person that's looking at this channel, I'm not here to pick on you. I'm here to, to help you with God product, which is holiness. Hey, glory to God. Amen. And number seven, they enter a world of poison and prison and pain while living on earth. When you chase money, you never sleep. And if you don't sleep, you come mean and nasty. Hey, glory to God. And number eight, they embodied Satan, wilderness, temptation, hallelujah, of Satan. Satan tempted Jesus Christ three times to turn the stone and bread, to commit so to commit. You know what I'm talking about. I can't say certain words on this on this channel. Hey, glory to God. The last one, he wanted Jesus to bow to him. But if Jesus Christ didn't bow to him, he said, he say, Satan, worship God only. Him only shall you serve. Hey, glory to God. And number nine, they are enjoying the pleasure of money and it's all evilness. Number 10, at the end, they enter hell with pain and they say, I should have listened to the last preacher man. I'm not saying I'm perfect. I'm striving to perf perfection, but I'm not chasing money. I'm chasing Christ. I'm chasing change. I'm chasing connection with God. My friend, what happened to those who chase cash or money? It's in the text. Hey, glory to God.